I reviewed both Astro Pad and Duet Display. I liked Astro Pad better, and I didn't really care for Duet Display, but that was over a year ago. What's it look like now? Duet has had a year to iterate and improve. How do these apps now match up? Let's find out. First off, I want to talk about what these apps do. What are they? These are iPad apps that become like second monitors for your computer, so you can use the Apple Pencil to draw on your computer. Basically, they turn your iPad into something similar to a Wacom Cintiq. Now, these apps are a little different from each other. AstroPad comes in two flavors, Standard and Studio. The Studio comes with an annual fee. It's also designed only for the iPad Pro. It comes with some additional features, takes advantage of the iPad Pro's hardware, and provides a faster, better experience. Both versions of AstroPad are also Mac-only right now. There is no Windows version. When you boot up the software, you can select what area of your Mac screen you want to display on your iPad screen. AstroPad doesn't work like a second monitor. What it's doing is mirroring your display. However, they are working on a little hardware doodad called the Luna that will allow you to do that. Duet Display works a little differently. It acts as a second monitor. It also works on both Macs and PCs. You can get standard Duet, which lets you use your iPad just as a monitor, but Duet Pro adds that extra Apple Pencil support and allows you to draw on it. For for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to be comparing the standard version of AstroPad to Duet Pro. I want to start off by doing a pen test to show straight up how these two apps compare to each other. So what is my setup? I am using a 2015 MacBook Pro and a 2015 12.9 inch iPad Pro running these apps. I'm going to be using the same drawing apps, the same brush settings, and everything for these pen demos. Primarily, I'm going to be using Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint to test this out on. So first up is Duet Display. The app has improved dramatically since I last used it. It was hardly usable last year when it first came out. Like AstroPad, there is some lag on the app when you're drawing a line, more than you're gonna get on like, say, a traditional Cintiq-like tablet. One thing that they've added to help with this is this drag line. It makes it easier to visualize where your line will appear, and I think that really helps when you're drawing. If your line drags too far behind, if there's too much lag, it becomes really distracting, and it just makes it really hard to draw. The pen detection has also greatly improved. It used to drop some lines when I was hatching, and there was a lot of inconsistency there. I also get these little fish hooks at the end of lines. The faster I go, the more likely these are to show up. I usually don't hatch this quickly when I'm actually drawing. It also holds pressure much better than it used to. I've noticed that the pressure is a little light at the beginning of my lines. I can tell this when I'm drawing circles. What I'm trying to do when I'm drawing these circles is hold consistent pressure around curves. Once it gets going, the pressure actually holds pretty well, but at the beginning, it's definitely lighter. Now, how about AstroPad? The lag behind the pencil feels very similar to Duet here. It also has the trailing line, but it's this fancy magenta color. It's on brand. The most notable difference here while going from one app to the other is that the brush settings, the pressure coming out of the brush is much stronger than it is in Duet. As far as pressure consistency, it feels about the same. It's just that the lines are much thicker when I'm drawing. This isn't a huge deal. I just reduced the size of the brush itself, and now it makes it much easier to compare the two. As far as fast hatch lines, you aren't going to find the little fish hooks that you do in Duet. What you will find, however, is a tiny little blob at the start, like the fish tail and duet, this goes away if you slow down a little bit. And it seems to happen most when you're drawing quickly. And the starting pressure was more accurate when I was doing my circle tests in AstroPad. One of the things that Duet Display has going for it that AstroPad doesn't is the ability to use it on Windows. I gave it a shot on my Surface Pro 3. It's pretty laggy. In fact, I would say that it's too laggy to use, even with the drag line. It's possible that the Surface Pro 3 is just too slow to handle Duet. Because it was so laggy for me, I couldn't really test the accuracy of the pen and the pressure and the responsiveness because it was hard to tell where I was applying pressure and where that pressure was showing up because it just took too long for the line to get there. The other big difference between these apps are the settings and the shortcuts. Duet's added some shortcuts and gestures. It's also added a pressure curve for the Apple Pencil right there in the app. AstroPad has more drawing specific settings. There's this little ring that opens up a sidebar on the side, lets you change your brush sizes or the tools that you're using. It's really handy. The sidebar is also totally customizable, so you can put in whatever shortcuts you want to use there and you can name them however you want. So the question here is which one wins? For now, I'm sticking with AstroPad. For me, it comes down to the settings that make it easier to actually draw with. But as far as how the pen performs, Duet Display has come a long way and I don't have any problems recommending it, at least on the Mac. As far as how it performs on a PC, I wasn't that impressed. It's possible that my PC is just a little too old and too slow to use it, so that's something to keep in mind. But Duet has come so far, and kudos to them, because it was really, it was really pretty horrible when I tested it out a year ago. They did not like my review, but 
you know, that's part for the course because I did not like their app. Duet Pro has a one week free trial, so you can go ahead and test it out yourself. You might need to go ahead and spend the $10 to get Duet first before you can try that trial. I'm not sure if standard Duet has a trial or not. I It was kind of hard to see since I've already purchased it. So that's the comparison. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section down below. That's all I've got for this week. I'd like to thank everybody who subscribes and likes these videos. I really appreciate it, guys. And everybody over on Patreon who supports this channel. You guys keep me afloat. Thanks, guys.